All right, let's start off. Yeah. Shizer. You know what this is? People ask the man in web. But we didn't even go anywhere anyway. So I can't even say anything. My phone's all ringing. This is all mashing up my whole content. This, oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, we just, we're going to keep it in there because it's just, it's real shit, man. All right. I have a crush on a certain TikTok girl and fantasize about meeting her. I find her attractive and have indulged in some foot related fantasies. Hope she, I hope she goes to UOB. I think that's University of Bristol, Birmingham. But I check her account regularly. Birmingham City Uni. It's a foot, re- foot related to me. Messi! <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. That's a footballer. That's crazy. Um, How can we help you? Uh, sorry, apologies. Read it one more time, please. I have a certain crush on a TikTok girl. Mm-hmm. And fantasize about meeting her. You can't be an adult her. if you're crushing on TikTok, babes. And fantasize about cheating. meeting her. I find her attractive and indulge in some foot-related fantasies. That's when crazy. you say indulge in some foot-related fantasies, how do you indulge that? Like, what does he mean indulge? Like, are you a foot... What's a TikTok girl, though? A foot anywhere near your Sounds penis like a minor. is brazen. <laughs> I can't foot like... their penis is brazen. That's disrespectful. Don't, huh? put your, don't put your foot on my cock. That's, that's called, disrespectful. That's called a foot job. That's crazy, though, man. That's disrespectful. You ever you ever been laying on the floor and you go to step over <laughs> someone? You to, don't step over people. That's disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. put your foot on my. I just get that. Maybe that's why I didn't grow. They said all the time. <laughs> I just get yeah. that. I want to keep it real, right? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real, like like man. Them, I I didn't realize how how big the the the, the toe <laughs> fetish thing. <laughs> big, it's a big business, you know. I know. Man, them love toes. I know. I I think I met. So can I say can I say who it is? I don't hot them up, man. I don't hot them up. Hot no, them but up, she man. talks about it. She does it, though. Anyway, Jay Huss is big, man. Oh, Loz. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you said to Loz? I met her at a, a book review, like, maybe, like, four years, three years ago. So, the youth who's doing a book review, obviously, this one I was doing my company, my coach company, he was like, bro, um, I've got a bunch of people that I need you to take home, innit? I'll give you 400 pounds. I think he gave me four bills to drop her to, I think she lives down in Northampton. She lives in Brom? Yeah, she lives quite, No, yeah. it was further than that. She won't live in Brom these times. Okay. I figured that, I figured that Northampton or something like that. It's like, yeah, I give you four bills to drop her. Da-da-da. Obviously, I said, yeah, cool, no problem. I said, you might just do it in your car, because your car's quite luxury. Da-da-da. Obviously, me and her chatting in the way there. Da-da-da. She's like, yeah, I made, I made eight bills today. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, look. She, I was like, what? Your foot? She's like, yeah, people pay. I, I don't think it's even. I don't think it was OnlyFans. It's not. It's a, it's, you know, it's feet fine. That is a whole. Yeah, I don't think it was OnlyFans. You know? She's like, I just put my foot on there. It's a whole new world, like, bro. What? This was that like four it's years ago, whole, bro. But I, I, I was on a radio show with my brethren, and then one of the hosts, her brethren was a foot model, mm. and I met her, and I was like, she's cool, and that lovely girl, and that, and then like after I found out she was a foot model, I looked at Instagram, I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of foot related. Like all your photos, your feet are in it. And she'll upload a photo with like the uh, foot bottom and just the toes. And then she had like shoe company <laughs> sponsorships. And I was mm. like, wow, this is a whole. Yeah. I'm not allowed. I've got some nice feet, you know. I'm going to be honest. With you. That's oh, crazy. Bro, that's I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Crazy. With you. If I can get paid to show my foot, bro, I do it for free. Ain't nobody paying to see your feet, bro. <laughs> Why not, though? <laughs> Why not? Though? <laughs> You can't, as a man, you can't do bro, that. Well, that's so mad. Hey, what do you do? Uh, 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 I'm a foot model. What? That's There's crazy. no man that's no foot model. That's bro, not I'll a make, man's job. I make 10 bags a week. Don't, I'll put my foot and I'll model my foot. You bro. might as well let man root you out. Anyway. No, 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 I've sold worse. Can I say something? Can I tell you something? That can send me to that place. Can I tell you something? Yeah. But the problem with, with okay, only toes. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only toes. Yeah. Good. Do you know why I call it only toes? Because they say it's only their toes, but this is how it starts. It's so more than so that, girls, all, no, because it, it can generally start at just only their toes. Okay. But once you start selling pictures of your body, whatever it is, whatever it is knowing that the it's person for sexual gratification, you know that, right? It's a, it's a slippery slope because the next time, man might just say, you know what? Uh, five bills for me to see something. He'd be like, no, I don't want it to be a bag. Now what's going to happen is you're you're already in the realm of selling stuff. You're going to be like, well, no one's going to see. No one's going to know. Yeah, they've got you. Nah. And it could be a slow burner because first it's like pictures of your yeah, feet. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. I give you eight bills. Step in some bananas. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Baked beans. They love baked beans, you know? Baked beans. <laughs> no, baked beans. Is, they put their feet in baked beans and they make bare Stepping peas. Stepping in bananas is fire. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fire still. <laughs> Oh, what's wrong with you, bro? Oh. <laughs> Your DMs, hey, bro. He's stepping some bananas. I like, get two bags. 
<laughs> so we did say, yeah, it smells, it smells a bit, it smells a bit fruity in here, but what's going on? Uh, yeah, bro, it's bare bananas, residue <laughs> on the floor. What do you mean? Yeah, I might pay me two bags to step with some bananas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man's, man's front of me just smelling like bananas. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> man, that he's standing on bananas. That's crazy. That's homoerotic <laughs> behavior. That is, because what is he visualizing? <laughs> what is my visualizing? That's domination. That's domination. What is he it? Domination. All right, I'll give you six bags. Step on bananas and twist the lollies. <laughs> what's, what's going on? What's going hey, on? If you know what you're doing, you're doing way too much. But how much, are these, guys, how much are these guys paying for this kind of stuff? Oh, like, this kind crazy. of content? What are they like? I must say, I give you ten bags, <laughs> volley six dildos into a goal. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> now, I thought fantasy, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think you need help. Would I think you need help? All right, is it if a if I got a girl with nice feet and mm. I managed her page and she just sent me the pictures? Is that mm. bad on my behalf? Yeah, you're pimping. You think to so? a lesser degree? Hundred percent. You're hot, you're I'm propagating fuckery, in it? Look, here's the thing, right? <sighs> Look. Uh, do you, how much do you really love a person if you allow them to do that? How much? Yeah, I'm, no, it's not what I care about. Yeah, okay, cool. The reason why I'm just bringing that yeah, up... Oh, yeah, okay, right. so we're going to treat you don't care, but there's a lot of people that are in relationships where they actually say that they'll claim to love their partner, but then they do that and, you know, they don't, they don't see it like that. I don't care about that. Um, but if you don't care, then, yeah, that's one thing. But a lot of people are actually doing that in full blown relationships. Like that's mad. That's, that's crazy to me. That's mad. You don't care about that person. You care more about the financial gain, don't you? Yeah, I just think I like a lot of my views because people just think, oh, you're like, you get me. They don't understand it, but it's like they just views of what you happen when you actually care about someone in a relationship. Mm. Do you get me? It's not mm. even and and if you care about people, then you would advise. Like it's mad that it was hard earlier on, isn't it? Um, obviously my man calmed down a bit but it was hard early on because I was trying to just explain like it's hard when you have like so many people championing one thing yeah mm. and then um, even though they know how how de- like detrimental it's yeah. bro and you know it is sorry to cut you yeah but what you're preaching you'd say to your daughter I was just about to say to and your what, sister th- these people they'll they'll say they'll say oh no don't let people do what they want freedom yeah. but they, they won't say that same message to their own never, children never. so who cares about you more yeah. me who's saying the same thing to you I'll say to my own child yeah. my own sister my own mother but this person who's a lot of these people that like to go against you and argue these and points label. they don't live by these things no. and they wouldn't promote them to their never, own family who never. they care about so who's really the bad Cause person because they, vir- they virtue signals and we live in a world where people just want to so here's the thing right like and I said, and I like the fact that you spoke about them. Those men is because these men are dangerous. Mm. They're very dangerous because they lie, they lie, they lie. But men like me are honest, and part of being honest is you got to be prepared to, to like when he said um, he was Christian earlier. When I was gonna be like, well, you're, they're hating on Jesus, and when I say they're hating on Jesus, I'm not trying to compare myself to Jesus. I'm saying if you try to follow the Bible, yeah, what it says, and you try to do that in a Western world. Every single thing in there, you're going to... Basically, you're going to come up against it. This is why they say um, Christians are the most disrespected um, religion and persecuted religion because they can do anything and crack any joke. Look at little Nas X. Mm. Try to do that to, to get me other it's religions. Love, it's crazy. Yeah, it's gonna, you saw what they did in um, in Paris, Charlie Hebdo, for for drawing... Remember what they did, There's Muhammad? A, a lady called the teddy bear Muhammad. She went to jail. Yeah. So, mm. so I just think these people, they won't hold them up to the same to the same, you know, standards and stuff, but they'll be out there corrupting these people. But you have some, so who love, so so who cares more? The guy that says, that says to you, none of these things matter, right? Or the guy that says, actually, wait, you might want to think about who you're laying down with. You know what? Like, respect your body. Like, you know class as the bad guy. Oh, you know what? You're beautiful in your, in your natural hair. You don't need to wear wigs. You don't need, so I am not the one that hates black women. I'm the one that's trying to police women how to do their body. But the guy that's saying to you, you know what? You're... Put on a wig, go get the bust down bonus. The guy that's saying to you, nah, man, go bu- go bust it open for four ninety nine a month. These guys, what? Well, these are the good guys. And and to build on that, yeah, because a lot of women will take what you say and like to um, label it insecurity because you're not secure enough in yourself 
to let your woman be free and do what she wants. And when actually that is the direct opposite of insecurity yeah. because I know what I'm saying is, is not popular and it's going against what people want to do. Mm. So the fact that I'm saying this means that I'm willing to risk however you feel in order to get this message across when someone who's actually insecure will be quiet because they're more scared about how you feel and possibly losing you instead of highlighting what the actual incorrect issue is. Do you know De you know Derek Jackson? No. He's the guy in America. He was that he was the he was the um the, the love coach that had the wife perfect. Did he get caught for cheating? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah, would always yeah, call yeah, out yeah, men. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, other yeah, one as yeah, well, yeah, Pappy yeah, Don. Yeah, pick Remember me. the other one, Pappy the Don? Last guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Both of these men have been proven to be abusers and cheaters and liars and all types of things, right? But they galvanize women mm. because they were just telling women what, what they want to hear. You're the prize. It doesn't matter how many kids that you've got. This sort of body count doesn't matter. Um, all of these things, right? Cool. But women will fly to these areas, right? But they don't have any other men there. Now, if you don't have any other men around you, it lets me know that you're not respected by the men of the group. So... You cannot be a lone wolf when you're a man. Because if no other men surround you, it lets me There's know. There's something wrong here. Very something extremely mm. wrong. Extremely wrong. Because, and this is another thing that I said that I would always gravitate to men that are doing stuff. Because if you're by yourself, if I'm literally just by myself and I and I can't sit next to no men, not just not women, women will gravitate to you for all types of women. Mm. I need to see men by you. Because by seeing certain types of men and what type of men are by you, I will judge what type of man you are. Mm. And, and you, know, you know what I'm trying to say to you? Mm. By association a little bit. No, hundo, 100%. But in that same, to kind of, not to digress too much, but look at Kevin Samuels. What do you mean? He was by himself, bro. He was by himself. But he, what, he's, what he said, I'm sure... He wasn't by himself. No, he had he thousands was, no, of no, men who subscribed to him and paid no, him for I'm his advice. No, but I'm saying around him. No, but he worked... He That's worked, because how he manoeuvred. Yeah, but he worked with Obsidian. He worked with O'Shea Duty. He, Kevin Samuel so early. He, he just on job. He, yeah, he's bro, all over bro, the place. he only just started. He did like two shows with guests with Gary. Remember, no he was just Kevin Samuel's. He I still was, can't believe he's dead, man. I know. I know bro, it's so depressing. mad, bro. You know what? It's, drink, it's so mad because yeah, it's so mad because I never ever thought. I remember a few people said, "Oh, you're the UK Kevin Samuel's," or tried to say whatever. I said, first of all, R.I.P. the Godfather. I'll never try to be Kevin Samuel's. Mm, that's mm. who he is. But what he did do is he did tell us that we need to be. Kevin Samuel spoke to women, he spoke to men first before he ever spoke to women. Mm. And he told men, you need to get better. You need to go, you should be working over 60 hours a week or paid work, you, you know, you should be getting paid for. Um, put your head down. If you haven't got something, you shouldn't be trying to chase these women. He, he told men what you should be going to the gym. You should, he told men all the things they need to be doing, right? Before he ever spoke to women. And it's like, you should be the best version of yourself. Basically. Be the best version of yourself. Yeah. And don't be going out there and creating broken homes and being dusty. And, you know, like, it wasn't... But then women didn't like the fact of what it was about the message directing them. Same thing with me, okay? Mm. But Kevin Sam had lots of women that, that, um, that supported him. They thought when he died, the message was going to be over. But the message has only continued to grow, grow stronger and stronger. Um, and it's, it's to the point of where we are here. We have, you know what I mean? People are speaking out on platforms. So I just think, like I said, and that's what I said before, it's important that we speak. And whenever people are trying to, I'm one voice, bro. Like, mm. I'm one voice. So how do you, just quickly, go before we go into the next question, how do you feel about BBLs? I prefer natural women everything. So, so do I. But if your woman is insistent, she's like, babe, listen, I'm not happy with this. I want this. Go to the gym and squat. Yeah, man, that's lazy and that's insecure, that's man. It. Yeah. That's it. Because... What okay, so first of all, you're doing it and you're what, weak mentally. Why is she, isn't it? Why is she doing a BBL for? Tell me, what, what's the reason? It's not for, she, it's for herself, no, it's not, it's for men, it's not for herself. But she said she's always wanting to get it done, but, but it's not done. for it's not for her, it's for it's not for her, it's for men. So that's a okay, so I hate when women play this game, they're gonna say I do it for us. No, it's not okay. You do it for you do it to compete with other women so that you're the best looking woman in, in the room. Ultimately, for male attention, it always goes back to women. Have a, women find it hard to say to men that I get dressed up for you. I they, they really don't like do, doing boy. it. But guess they what? Really men have no problem in saying, "Listen, when a man when a man makes peas, okay, okay, cool. You let's say you, you let's say you hit a belly, okay. You're gonna go get new drip, yeah. Get me get get your hair done, whatever. Go get a new whip. So I'm saying to you, Jules, bro, you're going out. 
you're getting gal. Everything is for gal. You're not going to do all of that and be like, oh, I don't want... No, but a, a women will say all of that and pretend I'm going, no, you're going... If a woman genuinely looked good and no man saw her for a whole week, she would not be happy. If a gal went outside the whole night looking good and she looked good and no one gave her no attention, she wouldn't be happy, but they're going to say that. <laughs> or, like, like, who would want to get ready? I would not want that. If I got ready and no one saw me, I was invisible. No, but I, it's, it Human sounds nature. bad, but I attribute a portion of my value to the fact that women are interested in me. Of course! I'm confident, I can admit that. I'm like, but, but it, me, it means something no, to me. It should mean something to you because guess what? You're in the 20% of, and here's the thing. Not, it's easier for you when you've got in gal. Do you know how much man never get no yeah, gal, bro? Yeah, for real. Like, one of the other things is in there is all about that. That's so, me, whenever we talk about the top 20% of men, bro, like, just because, bro, you're tall, bro. You're light skin, bro. So I'm saying to you, don't see these two factors already means that you're already your height and your skin color already puts you into. So, do you know what? Sorry, go I'm on. gonna read this question because I feel like what you're talking about. Attributes. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 read it, read it. I feel like the beauty standard has gotten to a point where if I don't look a certain way and if my ass isn't big, I'm not pretty enough. I'll never be able to compete with these oh, girls. Girl, See, that's, that's what listen, I girl, you, you're beautiful the way you are. Like I'm gonna, I don't even know who you are, but I'm gonna say you're perfect the way you are. Um, and it has to start from inside before outside. A and thousand percent. Like, because like, self confidence is a trap. Yeah, it's it, it, natural it, over here, man. No, it really is like no, self. It's preach because self confidence. Self confidence is, is attractive. Is, 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 it's is very, very important. You know how much times I've woke up in a bed with gal? I'm like, rah, like I don't even really like. Do you know her, what? Like, self, there's something about see, her. See the self confidence, even yeah. if it's got a little bit of arrogance in it. I don't mind. But it's of called course. sex appeal. Yeah, it's value. Yeah, it. yeah, I don't mind. Like, do you get what I mean? Yeah, be a bit arrogant with it. I don't mind. And and you know what? We all here and we're all talking. We all have that to a degree because we all say very outlandish stuff that is not popular with the opinion but we have enough confidence within ourselves to let that but the confidence like even if people don't agree with what you're saying because yeah. as you said 80-20 not everything I'm going to agree no, with but the fact that you have enough confidence is what you're saying I'm like, like we were talking about ZZ Mills earlier yeah. we don't agree with everything you say no. but the fact that she's intelligent enough and oh, has I'm enough belief in what she ZZ. said to have a viewpoint because so much people don't have viewpoints oh, nowadays big, listen big up ZZ Mills I rate ZZ big up, and, and you know what as well I want to talk about sorry but I want to talk about that the bad as you, the Lani thing. Did you see the, the tweet? Preach, go on. Yeah, the reason, because I, I comment on I it. I've seen it. Because basically, okay. you know, uh, let's first of all, let's let's big up Lani. Um, she's got a show called Bad. Oh, the Bad as UK yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, I've seen yeah. a lot of I've seen a lot of sticks she's been given around it. Essentially, one of those like um, you know, it's a reality show of the UK baddies or whatever viral girl, whatever. But let's just let's just, you guys have a studio. You guys put out content. You know how hard it is to create content and to and to service it. Let's look at how hard it is to create. Uh, a reality TV show. It's not easy. All the production behind it, yeah. all the production value and stuff like that. It's not. And easy. then to get all the guests from the UK and to, and to put mm. them in there, and, yeah, manage so much different personalities. Oh my gosh! It's you think not it's just UK's bad vibes? You think it's well? So let's just can we let, say that? Yes, the UK it's is It's a first world country. Yeah. We were very privileged, <laughs> so we have a lot of time on our hands yeah. to focus on nonsense. Yeah. So we will do more than if say, for example. So she's country. created a show from nothing. Okay. So for, as for someone that's trying, to, uh, someone that's creating documentary, doing stuff at the moment, I know what I'm going through, right? Um, and I know the stuff I'm gonna go through. So I respect what she's created, okay? Mm. I respect the, the the body of work, what she's done, right? Project man, I expect all of the idea. If this was an American person, if this was Yan Yandy from Love and Hip Hop, and she came mm. to the UK, everyone would be rating her for what for, for what she's done, right? Yeah. Now, I don't have to like or, or or follow what she's done. It's not it's not for my demographic, mm -hmm. but I can respect the work effort that she's gone to go and do. It, okay? Even if you don't agree with, even it. if I don't yeah, agree, yeah, yeah. which like, is very mature. Yeah, of yeah. bro. Like I said, it's all OF girls. Like I understand it takes whatever, but of course, like, I can rate. But I'm not going to just because you've made a hundred bags. I'm not going to be like don't no. Make it correct. Doesn't make it correct. But the fact you made a hundred bags. You've got work because even, even though what you're working towards is incorrect, I still respect you more than a person who sits on their ass and both, don't do nothing. Because the average OnlyFans girls make £130. Yeah, a which month. is nonsense. So if That's you make 100 bags, it lets me know that obviously... There's something you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, 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 100%. Some thought behind this. Yeah, 100%. And if you could channel this, like, you know, like the guys who sell drugs, it's like, oh, but the rules you live by and what you do, if you transition to this to a legal business, you'd be extremely successful. Bro. So you have some transferable skills here, but you're just misguided in what you're doing with your talent in a yeah, 100%, 100%, 100%. No, wait, hold on. And then I was, I was saying something. And then ZZ basically just said, look, um, the only one that's going to really benefit out of this is, is Lani. The UK is not like America and the rest yeah, of it. And then she that. clapped back and she just said, oh, right, listen, your something about your skinny, bony skeleton. Yeah, get, you need to focus on getting your weight back. You're getting your weight back. You said that, Lani. Yeah, no one ain't wifed you yet. 
No, no, sorry, no one there. Yeah, you, you ain't been picked up she yet. You picked me. Into, and, and, and then she started saying something about... Oh, you... was that the lippy thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then yeah. another girl started saying something. So then I, I, I replied, I said, oh. I said, it's funny how um, when a woman doesn't doesn't agree with with you, they go straight to shaming your um, <coughs> your body and then slut shaming or body body count shaming, right? These are all things that I would never Which do. Which you're in alignment with because you tell them not to do this. Yeah, yeah. But they will preach to you, do this and yeah, be free okay. of womanism. But let me tell you something. The moment... I don't oh, feel like you can't say nothing on the internet. The yeah, moment a woman mean, argues with another woman, what do they do? They start cussing them, calling them hoes and skets, and they're talking about their body. They what? slept with this. Why? Do you know, do you know what it is? Because deep down, women all know sleeping around is wrong. So the moment that they don't like a girl, what do they do? First, first it's, thing. They throw it. Look at, okay, cool. Steph London and Jada Kingdom. Bingo. I was going to say, you took the words out of my mouth. I haven't heard so much slander about them gal. You're f men for, f you're f men for money. You're f this man you did this you did dirty this, this, this but then again your the, your whole album is like woman freedom be free do what you want don't let no man tell you nothing wow. but the moment you're in disagreement wow. you well, slander the first each thing, other the first you. thing oh you're pussy bro and this is let you know women wow. when, see, when a woman wants that, to disrespect right. another woman she will go straight to the slut shaming all these types of things right women are, are the biggest hypocrites okay pro you said it earlier they're enablers they're enablers and so, you know what men do well, the opposite of what women do. Yeah. We're broke. Men start talking about paper. What do you mean? To who? What do you mean? Like, you see, like, when a bad thing's going on, I don't know, let's say me and you are arguing yeah. or something. The first thing I'd... I hear like, you. The first thing we're going to go to is, yeah. bro, my YouTube does this. What are you talking about? No, I hear you. Oh, bro, you're broke, you? man. Don't chat to you're me. You're broke, man. Don't yeah, even chat yeah, to yeah. me. I'll be real with you. What am I, What else am I really going to say if I don't know yeah, you? Yeah, but, the equivalent of body count and sleeping around to yeah, us. But, yeah, yeah, but, yeah but, the, okay, but the difference with men and men is that when you say that, you better be able to back what yeah, you say. Yeah, there's a Of course. So after you call me broke, you better be someone that can back that talk. So you can, as a man, you can say whatever you want, but having money was... But when I knock you out, what's that money going to do? You know, it's funny. There's this, uh, did you share it as well? There's this clip here. Yeah, yeah. man goes, yeah, if you say to someone, who the fuck you talking to? Yeah. And they go to you, you. If you say to somebody, who the fuck you talking to? And that person say, you? You got to do something. If you wasn't going to do nothing, you shouldn't have said that shit. <laughs> you you, you got to do something. <laughs> you got to do something. You got to do something. Because yeah, yeah. you should have never said that yeah. if you weren't willing to yeah. do something. Yeah, yeah, right. Who are you talking to? You? Uh, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. You better be prepared to do right. something. Yeah. Because, yeah, for real. <laughs> oh, you're right. So, so I'm just like, I just think, I just didn't like the optics, yeah? Mm. Because... I don't have to agree with everything that Zizi says, but there was no need for her to speak about that and to kind of, because you don't know what. What she, you didn't like that Zizi said. No, I'm saying like, she doesn't always, like, first of all, like, she's very outspoken. I like most a lot of things she said, but I didn't like the fact when she's talking about sucking. I hate you, because that's man's wife and you shouldn't <laughs> be talking about the things. Bro, and I then when she's talked to, yeah, yeah. and the other thing she said the other time, she was like, oh, I want to have, a, basically I want to have my main guy and a woman on the side. Oh, I was yeah. like, what's easy? Yeah, you just yeah, move? Yeah, you're moving wild Big up Zizi, man. Me and uh, yeah, that's my, yeah. Well, every, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, but, yeah. no, big up yeah. Zizi. Z big up Zizi, you know same time. Lip Mess uh, with me, put some weight on. No, she's, yeah. she, no, she's a sweet one still, because I see Lippy saying, Lippy was like, oh, it, uh, what did he say? He says something that made me laugh. Something about oh, when did I ever? If I if I if I could have, if I could have, I, I, I would have. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, he was, he yeah, was, yeah. hey, he was, he was, he was greasing it. And he was you know, in. my girlfriend has been expressing concerns about her gender identity. <laughs> I think she might be trans. I'm really confused. I love her, but I don't know how to Wait, feel if she transitions to a male. Wait, West London Uni. Oh my God! First of all, I thought he meant like, oh my girl's gonna be biased. So you can't trust them girl around your girl. <laughs> now I realize, yeah, <laughs> he doesn't know if she was born bro, man or not. Yeah, bro, you have to, bro, you have to dip. You have to dip. You have to, you have to dip. dip. You have to dip. Have to dip. dip. Oh, come on, let's have to dip. The, the chocolate thing. With the <laughs> chocolate dip. dip. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get out of there. You gotta get out of there. You gotta get out of there because that's. Bro, I don't even know what to like, bro. You're never questioning her sexuality. Bro. You're questioning her gender. Bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro. Yeah. That says he's an optimist nah, prime. She's, she's trying to put she's trying to put a strap on something. Yeah, something. Yo, bro, I don't know if my girl likes me anymore, man. Yo, bro, I don't know if my girl's born a man. Bro, bro. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, bro? It's a transition your <laughs> transition your way out of that relationship, you my G. No, but it's, I think it's a part of overthinking. What do you mean? It's like I think we have a problem because it's 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 kid because kid I got a big. I haven't kid done up. enough work. Like no, not, it's not even nothing to do with enough work. Kid is a big like major. Mm -hmm. I say ninety ninety nine percent of our guests is kid. Yeah. Because kid has 
taken a conscious decision to say, because you know where I'm from? We don't really like ask people for stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't like people asking me for stuff because sometimes things I don't want to do. You told me you don't want to post people stuff. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so sometimes I don't want to ask. So kids made yeah. a conscious decision. It's like, no, f*** that. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm going to ask this question because if you don't ask, you don't get. Well, yeah. So when, when you played to Kai, when you put in the group today, yeah, man's getting China's guest. I was so happy to say that he got the guest. No, but bro, because... Man. I'm not talking. Bro. I'm, not talking bro. I'm, I'm in the. I'm looking, I want to. I'm, I'm looking at the message, you know, yeah. and I want to go into the chat. I want to be the first of the guy in there and say, "Sick." But I said, yeah. it. "I'm not even doing it. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not doing it because these guys are really pissing me off." My soul. But yeah. if you don't, if I, if, I, if I don't put a price on something. Everyone's gonna think I'm free. I am, guys. You know I, what? I'm not free, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, to, no. to back up your yeah. argument of why you're true, because I, the seed, same attitude of like supporting everyone yeah. and wanting to help everyone. I had that attitude, yeah. bro. <laughs> I've been on podcasts <laughs> and the footage ain't been seen. <laughs> I know. That's, that's, like, do you that, know what I mean? So you, I'm not. I'm not you, you did, it's that, a waste that, of my that time. That means you did really well. Like, do you know what I mean? It, funny it's that a funny. But when they don't. Footage. When they don't bring out the footage, you know you showed it. I was meant bro. to go, bro, but bro, that's bro, that's bro. I've got D-block on set, bro. I'm making that, bro. It, no, Wait, did you, bro. you go D-blocking thing? Yeah, was bro, there, that bro. was the same day, bro. bro. Yeah. Bro, this is I was D-block, there. Bro. I'm filming invisible yeah. content. It was guy, no. Bro, bro. I bet. Well, I could have been a D block. Yeah, yeah, no styles, no styles, bro. I know I'm trying to be a nice guy doing content. <laughs> and all now they ain't seen nah, it. Nah, oh, that's why I'm not doing it no nah, more, like, bro. Like, 